For somebody who's not escaping from prison, it sure feels like I am. Well, I'm not going anywhere. I have time to try and wedge this thing open. Should be able to do it in under an hour. Oh, that puts me ahead of schedule. See, this is why unions were formed. So when you get lucky breaks like this, management doesn't make three seconds the new standard for opening a welded gate. Yeah, try and follow me through this drainage pipe, flyboy. I don't think so. <sighs> Sadly, I am noticing a pattern here. I seem to be going back and forth between wanting nothing more than to get above ground. Then once I do, there's something so bad happening topside that it makes me wish I was never born and I go back underground again. And fuck Groundhog Day. It's getting worse, too. I'm reasonably certain there's going to be an active volcano outside if I do this in that time. Yeah, okay, see, what's that? Are they spraying nerve gas? Ah! Come on! Why is the drainage pipe that's been welded on one end being guarded? And you're beeping. That's like a death sentence right there. Did I get it? It stopped. I don't know, I like to be sure about these things. Close enough. Okay, so, uh... Watch your step. Jesus, this is pretty high up. Oh! Perfect! That's good! I needed something to take my mind off of death. Let go! You know, I have the height advantage here, so that means my bullets are traveling a little faster than yours. What'd you say to me? Actually, it doesn't matter. I've got the best comeback of all. A spa's 12. What? What was that? Didn't catch that. Yeah, don't have anything to say now, do you? I actually don't hold a grudge against someone talking trash about me if they're shot afterwards. I try to rise above that and find my own peace. Damn, I am high up. I don't even see an obvious way down. Besides, well, the obvious. Okay, I think this will do it. <laughs> Christ. <sighs> oh man, just one trip up here and that's all it takes to... Uh, anyway. I'm not an anthropologist, but I don't know of any modern cliff-dwelling societies. I'm sure the first settlers probably thought it was a good idea because they have good defense. But once Little Billy starts playing near the cliff, then there's no more Little Billy. Then Little Susie and Little Timmy fall off, which doesn't help the situation. I think those societies are all extinct now. Oh man, that was so sneaky of you. Getting me to kill you so that the kickback from my gun could have knocked me over the edge? That was clever. If I hadn't braced myself, it might have worked. So I guess you were just hiding in a hole in the rock, huh? Were those your orders or was that your own initiative? Oh man. Where are you guys coming from? If you're trying to do the same trick as the last guy, you're doing it wrong. It doesn't work at your angle. At best, I'll only get knocked back towards the wall. I don't know why I'm even explaining this to you. Hmm, I'm really tempted to slide down that pipe like a banister, but I think I'll regret it as soon as I get to the end of it. I'll find another way. Seriously, how are these soldiers getting here? Parts of this trail are narrow enough that I'm afraid to sneeze. Yet they're sprinkled all over it, stuck in rocks. Maybe they're still recruits and this is the last part of their training and Command just dumps them out of a plane and tells them to make their way back to base. No actual plan as to how they're supposed to get off a cliff, just ingenuity. Whoever doesn't die in the process passes the training. If two-thirds of the recruits die or get stranded, then it's labeled as intensive training. I bet there's a bunch more of these guys stuck in the canyon below. All right, this looks like our best candidate for not dying. Okay, careful descent, no break dancing moves. Here we go. <laughs> Good to be on this. This isn't a path! If I'm going the wrong way, I have problems. Oh, whoa! Okay, I think I've determined the cause of death. That's two of them. Maybe hiding in holes really were their orders. Why? Yeah, I'm not getting that gun out. Uh -huh. If the soldiers wanted to kill me, they could have just dumped a bucket of gravel right here. Dead. I guess I shouldn't be thinking about that, but I'm pretty sure they can't read my mind. Hell, I can't read my mind. 
Wait, maybe. Speaking of mind reading, one thing that pisses me off are those tinfoil hat people. They don't know what they're talking about. Hold on, I've gotta concentrate. Make sure I don't die. I do that sometimes. <gasps> <sighs> but yeah, assuming mind reading is possible, which is a big assumption, that... What the fuck is this? Is this seriously the bridge to the other side? I'd expect better than this from a Peruvian burrow trail. Jesus Christ, why not just put up a sign that says die? What the fuck? These pipes look professionally built. How did that happen? Not like this. The wood's rotting, the stakes look rusted. I don't know how the soldiers got here, but it wasn't this way. Or maybe it was, that's why so many of the planks are missing. If I had a grappling hook, I could just tie off, rappel down, and be done with it. Actually, maybe not. I'd have to be carrying a hell of a lot of rope. <sighs> well, they did use aircraft cable, I'll give them that. So there's more support if I walk on the sides, since these boards look like they have the tensile strength of rice cakes. I'm probably overreacting. Oh no, it's happening! Oh, no, no. In retrospect, maybe I should have checked to see if the soldiers had any rope on them. It could have tied at the bridge and... But wait, look at these stakes. They're practically on the edge of the rock. It could have just popped out. Well, at least no one's following me. Unless the cliff is following me. No, that'd be a lot louder. Actually, I'm gonna use the pistol. This is kind of unwieldy right now. I'm so high up. I didn't realize Black Mesa was literally built into the Mesa. I guess that makes my Indian burial ground theory less likely. I'll take that. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm gonna trust this catwalk with my life. Because I'm sure it's different from every other catwalk I've walked on at this company. Actually, it is different. The other ones had guardrails. I think I'll stick with the rock. At least I know it's been built to code. If a spider jumps on me now, I'm gonna have to be careful not to freak out. I could fall off. I don't think there are many spiders out here, though. Wait, you're not a spider! Okay, careful! I can fall off! Careful! What the hell are you doing? I could slip on these shells! You ever think of that? No, of course not. As usual, I'm the one who has to think of these things. Whoa, motion sensor doors. This is a step up from the death slide trail. Is that? Oh my god, it's a rocket launcher. The perfect gift for the man who has everything. Oh, you and I are gonna go places. My mind is spinning with new possibilities. You are the first good news I've had all day. Yes, I'll bring your friends. Locked! Hark! Dost thou hear with thine ears what I hear with mine? Interloper! No quarter shall be shown hither, fiend! Anon, show thine self, churl! Have at thee! Curses! Fire upon thee! But ho! The laser on mine rocket launcher be not a mere target, but a guidance system! Where art thou? Come hither that I may smite thee! Thou shalt not be missed. That was liberating. Whoa, wait! What's that sound? Do you hear that? I think that's silence! That's the sound people make when everyone trying to kill me is dead! And I have a rocket launcher! I have a rocket launcher with a laser guided system! And I'm walking on a really, really narrow cliff face. Mm. Besides seeming like a gift from the gods, this rocket launcher gives me some food for thought. I may have to revise my theory about the universe wanting me dead. If that was true, the rocket launcher would never have happened. Only most of the universe wants me dead. There's some larger game going on here. I'm more like Perseus or Odysseus, caught in the center of some cosmic politics. That's too bad, I was hoping the universe would end with me. Maybe there's still a way to make that happen.
Hmm. I feel like I'm forgetting something important. Mind reading! That was it. Okay, let's assume it exists, even though the transmission doesn't show up on any known spectrum. The tinfoil hat people. What do they think? That it's electromagnetic radiation? Then what do they think the tin is going to do? That 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 step was a little tricky. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. So anyway, if it's electromagnetic, you'd need a Faraday cage to block that, and a tin foil hat doesn't act like one. It's not even grounded. In all likelihood, a chunk of metal on your head is going to conduct any signal you're worried about, not block it. You'd have better chances with a lead helmet coated in rubber. Tinfoil hat people are ignorant. Oh god, Jesus! Yeah! Toro, motherfucker! Splat! Forget the mind reading, I just want a helmet. Cranial protection against punctures and lacerations. And bullets. Well, I'm not wasting a rocket on the chance that there might be another one of those things in here. I guess I'll just do things the potentially painful way. If the circumstances were different, this area would actually be a pretty kick-ass place to build a water slide. <laughs>